how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024 and another part of the Everton project. Today we are back with the Merseyside derby. Big, big match. And then we go away to newly promoted Leeds United, who are doing okay in the league so far thank you for all of the support on the series uh, up to this point really do appreciate it can't wait for the south shields um road to glory career mode uh non-league to champions league series to start that's going to be starting in the next week or so do make sure that you are uh, around for that i did release the official trailer for that uh late last week but uh, we are going to get started probably um just before the weekend and and then lead up into uh, the full release of the game of course so do keep your eyes open for that um, I do just want to, to wait a little bit longer, keep doing Everton um, until the moment is right. But uh, yeah, hopefully you are enjoying this one. If you are, do give it a big thumbs up down below. It would be fantastic if we could hit 35 likes for this video. Um, I've learned my lesson to not set a target for 50 anymore, but hopefully 35 will do for, for this episode. Uh, really do appreciate your support as always. And uh, as you can probably see, things are still... Still going very, very well in the two matches that we've played uh, since the last episode. We beat uh, Ipswich 4-1 in the Carabao Cup. Rooney Bargy, Smith Rowe, Gullickson uh, and Zaragoza uh, scoring them. We then went away to Tottenham and beat them 2-1. Jared Branthwaite, two headed goals from corners, meaning we are now in uh, firmly in the top four of the Premier League. Third position, in fact, on 17 points after seven games. Terrific start to the season. We've also signed a brand new contract at uh, the club, and that will keep us here until the end of 2027. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, seeing how far we can go with Everton. Can we turn them back into a title-winning team? Could that even be this season? I mean, our form has been superb. Rooney Bargy has been amazing. And, uh, well, if we look at squad performances, he is our top scorer. Six goals at the moment. Beto, Gullickson, Branthwaite and Leonardo all on two. And then top assists is uh, Smithrow on three uh, and two for McGinn as well. Top average rating is Rooney Barchi with a 7.44. McGinn's up there. Gullickson is up there as well. And we did complete the signing of Tangai Endombele for £45,000 per week. He's already worth uh, over £30 million. He's coming. In. He's done okay in his two matches so far. So it'll be interesting to see um, how he fits into this team. Obviously, I think we're very, very settled in the midfield areas. He's just a very good option to have um, as a bit of a, a backup to that process. But if you look at the star ratings, you know, we we are really coming together as a side now. Um, really, really strong players in in all positions and uh, Jordan Pickford thankfully back from injury he's going to be playing for the reserves quite a bit um, for the next few weeks just to, to get back to some match fitness but uh, yeah everything looking good at the moment let's see how we get on against Liverpool today so this is the team that I have selected we've got Meslier in goal with Patterson, Maguire, Tarkovsky and Branthwaite in defence. Uh, James Garner holds the midfield with McGinn and Gullickson in the middle of the park. Bargy and Smithrow start behind Beto up top. So let's get into it. Liverpool then um, are second in the league at the moment. And you, you look at that side and you think, wow, what a team that is. Uh, Adamola Luckman, of course, former Everton player, I believe, um, is in the lineup today. So, yeah, let's keep an eye on that. But, um, yeah, how, what, what do we say? Do we say, uh, yeah, we don't want to do the hard fought stuff. Um, yeah, maybe we uh, put our hand, uh, hands in pockets and say, show everybody what you're made of. Show them why we are being praised. Um, and to be fair, the odds, you know, we're, we're pretty close. Liverpool are slight favourites for this match, but, um, you know, following five consecutive wins, our odds are plummeting a little bit. And obviously we're at Good Goodison Park. we got the Goodison Park faithful here. And uh, all all should be good in the hood, really, in terms of 
giving us the best possible chance. And well, that was a good header away. Gullickson clears and now finds Smith Rowe. And we're on the counter attack all of a sudden. And here's Gullickson still pushing forward. Excellent run from Rooney Bargy, but Gullickson's there and Gullickson scores. Come on. Yes, that is what we want to see. Brilliant counter attack there. Gullickson uh, makes the breakthrough. And it was Smith Rowe that started it all. He lost out, but Gullickson took over and just bombed forward. And although Rooney Bargy was here, Beto was there. He went himself and absolutely smacks it into the back of the net. And after four minutes, we are ahead in the Merseyside derby, which is exactly what we want to see. And that would move us up into second position in the league as it stands. Arsenal still off to a very good start. Um, I think they've only dropped two points in their opening eight games. So, um, yeah, very, very strong side and uh, will be very tough to beat if we are indeed fancying a bit of a title push. Here's Beto uh, on the ball. Can he whip it in? No, he gets it back to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe into the middle. Rooney Bargy's there. Obviously, he's a bit of a short fella, so uh, <laughs> not not good in the, in the air. But, um, you know, hopefully we can... Uh, uh, get it onto his feet next time. He has better with the header, though. He's a better header of the ball. And wow, that very nearly trickled into the back of the net there. And what a start. We are up for it. We are fired up and uh, taking Liverpool by surprise so far. Uh, and that would move us on to 20 points in the league. Just two points behind Arsenal. Very good goal difference. And I think this would be... The moment that you, you stand up, you sit up, and you and you go, hang on a minute. We've just beaten Tottenham away, beaten Liverpool at home in the Merseyside derby. That means so much. I think now we can call ourselves contenders. McGinn should have made it 2-0. And that's maybe what will hold us back this season, is taking those chances. We should have scored there. We really should have. And it's a difficult team talk at half time because at 1 0, you know, Liverpool could come out the second half and, and perform so much better than they did in the first. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna just tell them to keep working hard. I was gonna go for the complacency one, but realistically, we're not expected to win this match. You know, we are second favourites for it, so it's not. It, it's not about being complacent. Uh, Rooney Bargy not having the best of games, which is probably a bit harsh on him. Here he is now, Rooney Bargy. Is he going to do something special? He almost did. He has John McGinn. John McGinn, oh, it's a side net. And I mean, that was ridiculous. He, Becker came steaming out. And, uh, well, Bargy tried to head it over. Maybe should have tried the high boot, but probably would have um, injured Allison in the process got himself sent off if it all went wrong. So I can see why he didn't go for the high boot. Um, but it could cost us because we're still only 1-0 up and, you know, that's a bit of a problem. But look at the pressing. The pressing is amazing. Luckman and Tarkovsky gets it back. Patterson all the way back to Meslier who boots it downfield, and uh, there's Smith Rowe, who leaves it on for Beto now. Beto here finds Gulkerson. Oh, it's in! It found a deflection, but it has gone in, and that is his second goal of the game, fourth goal of the season, and that puts us 2-0 up. That is a hugely important goal. Yeah, Alexander-Arnold wrestled Smith Rowe down to the... The floor there. Beto found Gulkerson, and there you go, a little deflection, and that just sends Allison enough off guard. And uh, it's now 2 0. Here's Smith Rowe, that could be offside. Smith Rowe finds Branthwaite. Here's Gullickson, who fancies a hat trick perhaps. Here's Garner. Now Patterson, can we make it three? Gullickson finds Rooney just wide. Right, I think Rooney's going to come off because he's he's on a yellow card. He's not having the best of games. We'll put Zaragoza on for him. Um, McGinn's not having the best of games, so we're going to put Endombele on for him uh, as a bit of a box-to-boxer. 
because yeah, McGinn hasn't had the best of games. You know, he's had a few chances. So let's uh, let's try and keep Liverpool quiet here for the last 15 minutes or so. Shobosly, uh picked up an injury, which is a, a shame for him. Patterson's going to come off. We're going to put Ruben Sanchez on at uh, right back and Smith Rowe is going to come off and we're going to put on Anthony Martial on that left-hand side. We've got 15 minutes to go here. Let's hope we can we can hang on here. And it's been a very, very good performance. It could have been three or four, um, to be honest. Liverpool haven't really had much of a chance and that's what we've been noticing uh, in our matches recently you know we've not been giving away too many chances here's uh, Brian Zaragoza with a chance and hits the bar finds Martial now Martial whips it in and uh, McAllister clears but uh, li yeah Liverpool oh that's a nasty little tackle from Brian he I think he's just gonna get a little warning but good job that wasn't Rooney uh, Bargy because he would have been sent off there. Six minutes of added time, but I don't think anything is going to happen here. We have been so solid and five wins in a row become six wins in a row in the Premier League. And what can I say? What can I say? We have won the Merseyside Derby. We have, you would say, dominated the Merseyside Derby. We've come out on top. And that is six straight in the league now. And uh, Gullickson, another fabulous performance from him. The new signings are starting to bet in very, very well indeed. And, uh, well, we've got Leeds coming up next. That's the sort of match where it all goes wrong. Well, I'm taking the risk here because uh, I'm selecting an unchanged lineup for the Leeds match. Uh, I don't like doing that normally, but... Uh, under the circumstances, we played very, very well against Liverpool. It's I, I don't know who I'd drop, to be honest with you. Um, I, and I don't know who I'd bring in to try and improve. But uh, Jack Harrison, of course, one of our star players from last season. Uh, we're coming up against him today. So, you, you know, it's probably in the script that he's going to end up scoring for... Uh, Leeds. Obviously, Meslier is uh, playing in his first match against Leeds as well. Uh, six straight victories, looking very, very strong. Let's see how we get on here. If we do win, we would go top of the league, depending on how Arsenal get on. They're not playing until later on against our good rivals, Liverpool. So we would enjoy being top of the table for just a little bit at the end of of this episode if we did indeed win um which might not happen you know as i say this is usually in football manager where things go wrong where you least expect them to you've just had the high of the match against liverpool <laughs> then you play a team you should be beaten and uh, they thrash you but we will see because he has better with a chance Gullickson scores hey, hey third goal of the episode for Tobias Gullickson uh, I thought it was going to be a better moment but uh, it wasn't and it's actually Gullickson that scored there McGinn got it to Tarkovsky Tarkovsky to McGinn McGinn through to Beto, who I thought would shoot there. Just a bit of a heavy touch, but it's 1-0 to Everton after 16 minutes. Perfect start and a perfect settler of the nerves. And uh, we should see, in a minute, once that updates, we should see us uh, rising to the top of the table. And there it is. Now, Rooney Bargy has picked up a knock. So... Uh, we're going to take him off straight away. I'm going to put Brian Zaragoza on that right-hand side. That's been a substitute I've I've enjoyed doing. Um, Harvey Barnes is back from injury as well, so he can come in and, and uh, help out Emil Smith-Rowe if he's struggling. A header away from Branthwaite there. But uh, Leeds still attacking. Here's João Marquez on the right-hand side. Into the middle it goes. Meslier catches. Very good. And, of course, we had a great time at Leeds last year in the, the journeyman, finishing third um, and win, winning the Europa Conference League. It was uh, it was great times. We had, well, found some awesome players, didn't we? And Jack Harrison was still part of that setup back then, actually. So, um, yeah, really, really good. Here's Gullickson, finds it to... To Beto finds uh, Brian Zaragoza, who scores, takes his chance. 
He's only been on the pitch about five minutes since Rooney Barchi picked up that knock, but Brian Zaragoza puts it into the back of the net. He knows that there could be a vacancy in that right wing position if Rooney Barchi is out for a couple of weeks, and he certainly wants to stake his claim. Excellent goal from him there, and it's now 2-0 to the Everton. Excellent. Here's Brian. Gets it to Beto. Here's McGinn now. McGinn with a great chance. Oh, tries to curl one round. He's been very unlucky this season. He's had some great chances in front of goal. Uh, hasn't quite had the rewards for getting into those good positions with good finishing. Here's uh, McGinn. Gets it to Patterson now. Patterson finds Brian Zaragoza. Once again, finds McGinn. Here's Patterson now. Patterson finds Beto. Here's McGinn. Finds uh, Brian Zaragoza. And uh, that's back to McGinn again. Here's Branthwaite. Bit of a loose pass from Brian there. Here's Tarkovsky all the way back to Meslier. Now M Maguire. Maguire starting to push forward. Here's uh, Gar uh, Garner to get uh, Gullickson into play. And here's Beto with the shot. And it's a good save wide of the post. Still 2 0 here at the uh, Elland Road. I'm going to praise the boys. Harrison into the middle header away from Gull Gullickson. Now here's uh, Warber. And Meslier comes out and collects. I mean, Meslier, very solid pair of hands in goal. And Pickford might struggle to get back into the team. He really might. Um, obviously, it's not really been his fault this season. I probably would have started him in the first few matches. But injury has meant that Meslier has sort of secured that number one position. And... You know, it'll take a, a bad run of form, really, to bring Pickford back in. Here's Smith Rowe. That is beautiful football. Smith Rowe with the chance to get it to Brian, and that's his second of the game. 3 0. And you would say done and dusted, really. Um, excellent football. And this little play here from Beto, beautiful outside of the, the foot. We're just really enjoying our football at the moment. And. Playing some really, really top quality stuff. We know it's going to come to an end at some point. We cannot, um, we cannot keep this form going forever because we're, we're Everton, you know. And this side, this isn't a Premier League winning side. Um, it will eventually go wrong. And there you go, Wilfred Gnotto is starting that uh, process. And I tell you what, if Leeds come back today, that would be the start of the slide. You would imagine. Um, Smithrow loses it. He has Ampadu. And this could be Leeds getting back to, to just one behind. And, well, Meslier, bit of an unconvincing save there. And he's not used to having to be <laughs> used, to be fair. That's into the middle. Header away. It's Harrison again. And Leeds will fancy their chances here. But Beto cuts it out now on the counter-attack. It's Smithrow down this left-hand side. Loses it because Ampadu has got there. Now here's uh, Dragovsky, finds Stroyic and uh, Warbe, Lorente. Come on, ref, blow for half time, please. Tarkovsky. And we are now officially over the added time. Garner, McGinn. Brian over the top, Beto with a chance to make it four, does make it four. I suppose I won't complain too much. Um, he is going to check with VAR, I think he was onside though, so all should be good. Yes, goal awarded, Beto scores his third of the season, and at half time we are 4-1 up. Let's put our hands on our hips, and we say I'm very happy with that performance, everybody. Um, <laughs> and we think about what can we do in this second half to to give some players a rest. I think uh, we can get Mings onto the left-hand side. As I said, he's probably going to find himself playing there more often than he'd like. Uh, he sort of lost his place in the team to Tarkovsky. But that, that was always the plan, really, to have those three rotating. But Harry Maguire is almost und undroppable at the moment. Um, we're going to actually bring on Endombele in uh, the defensive midfield position and we're going to go for a DLP rather than a ball winner see how that changes the balance slightly it's good to experiment in, in these situations when you're 4-1 up um, you've got about 35 minutes to go it's a, it's a good chance to um, see what the, the team can do 
if you switch it up a little bit and uh, well straight away Leeds are going to score oof <laughs> very close um, anyway here come the here come the boys we are going to praise them and I think Beto is going to come off let's give Calvert-Lewin a little run out um, might also oh no we don't have any more subs because Rooney got injured didn't he um, yeah I think I think Calvert Lewin is going to be leaving in January unless he has a real turnaround in form and actually starts looking present in games again. Then, yeah, I, I, we've got to cash in on him while he's still worth something. Here's Ruben Sanchez uh, loses it. Oh, Brian tries to win it back. Um, it would be nice for him to get a hat trick actually, a bit like Rooney has done. Uh, I think that was in the last episode, wasn't it? Anyway, here's uh, Ruben finds McGinn. McGinn now back to Ruben. Here's McGinn finds uh, oh Smith Raw, and it's another chance for Smith Raw. He's he's been a, a great sign and a little bit wasteful with his chances. Is the only criticism I'd have. McGinn into the middle, headed away. But uh, here's Maguire finds McGinn again. Now here's Harry Maguire. Whoa, he had a little go, didn't he? But it uh, goes over the bar. But uh, he's, you know, the captain this season and has done a really good job uh, as Harry. So uh, really happy with that. Here's Calvert-Lewin and that's what I mean. Those sort of chances. That's where Beto is taking a touch, making the turn, scoring the goal. Calvert-Lewin is, is just not doing that at the moment. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, and it had to be Tangai and Dombele as well, didn't it? I mean, that is not his fault. But have a look at this. Meslier and Dombele. I mean, yeah, don't know what Meslier was thinking. And why wasn't he in more of a hurry to go and get that ball? Um, <laughs> I'm glad that was on camera, at least. A little bit of hilarity for everyone. I wouldn't have been laughing had it been one all and that had just one leads the game. But that that's the position we're in. We can laugh about those things at the moment, not cry about them. But it was um, an interesting <laughs> moment for the goalkeeper. But 4-2, very good performance. You'd say our performance against Liverpool was probably uh, better than that. Um, yeah, let's, um, let's move on then. And uh, briefly, we are top of the table. We will continue on. So we'll just send the assistant to that. Rooney Bargy is going to be out for a, a couple of weeks, probably. Um, won't play against Luton, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, Arsenal nil nil. So yes, we are level on points with leaders. Uh, Arsenal, uh, Liverpool are a few points behind us. Man City just one point behind us. But it's a very, very strong start of the season. Let's see when we're going to come back. Uh, oh, it's lovely to see this amount of green on the screen. You know it's going to end at some point we've got Liverpool in the Carabao Cup but we won't show that on camera uh, we will be back for the Manchester City match next time out we might play Man City and Arsenal uh, depending on how things are going if that is a true top of the table clash um, then we will do that next time uh, as long as our form stays as good as it has been but if you have enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for daily Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.